Mathematics 2, Quarter 2, Week 3, Day 3. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chell. Please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Mathematics 2, Quarter 2, Week 3, Day 3. At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to estimate distances in meters, measure distances in meters, and compare distances in meters. What standard unit of measure did we study yesterday? Yes, we studied meter as a standard unit of measure. What is the symbol for meter? The symbol for the meter is M. Example, 21 meters. So let's write it like 21 and then letter M. So remember, there should be a space between the number and the letter M. How do you measure the length of an object using the meter stick? Position the meter stick next to the object, ensuring the starting point, which is zero, aligned with one end of the object. Look at where the other end of the object aligns with the marking on the tool to determine its length. If the meter stick is shorter than the length, start by placing one end of the meter stick to one end, mark where you stop, then move the tool to continue measuring from that mark. Do this again and again until you cover the entire length. If the measurement is not exact in meters, how can we report the length? We can add the centimeters, representing the part that is less than one meter, to the number of meters. How do you compare lengths in meters? To compare lengths in meters, look at the numerical values. The one with the larger number is longer. If equal lengths in meters, compare the remaining length in centimeters. Now let's read the words that we will be learning in this lesson. Meter, meter stick, distance, around, landing, starting line, nearest, farthest, great. This time, I will group you into five groups and I will distribute a piece of short bond paper to each group. Look at this one, class. What is this? Yes, this is a paper airplane. Can you make one? Do you know how to fly a paper plane? Great job! If you don't know yet how to make a paper airplane, I will guide you to make your own. First, fold the sheet of paper lengthwise and then unfolding it to create a center crease. Second, fold the top two corners down to meet the center crease, forming a triangle. Third, fold the triangle down so its tip meets the center crease. Fourth, fold the new top corners to the center crease again. Fifth, fold the paper in half along the original crease. Sixth, fold the top edge down on each side to form wings. Seventh, 
Seventh, ensure wings are even, then hold and toss your airplane. The measurements that I will be showing to you today are for discussion purposes only and may not reflect the actual values. For group 1, 4 meters and 200 centimeters. Group 2, 1 meter and 700 centimeters. Group 3, 1 meter and 350 centimeters. Group 4, 5 meters. And group 5, 2 meters and 580 centimeters. Class, based on the table that I have shown you, which group had the nearest landing to the starting line? Yes, group 3 had the nearest standing to the starting line. Very good. How do you know it is the nearest? Yes, it has the shortest distance from the starting line, which is only 1 meter and 350 centimeters. Which group has the farthest landing from the starting line? Very good! Group 4 had the farthest landing from the starting line. How do you know it is the farthest? It has the longest distance from the starting line, which is 5 meters. Which groups have the same distance from the starting line? None, since no measurements are the same. In case two groups have the same measurements, for example, group 1 and group 2, we can say Group 1 and Group 2 both landed 3 meters from the starting line. Another solution for you to identify the nearest to farthest from the starting line, you can also arrange the distances traveled by the planes. Remember, the shorter the distance of the plane's landing, the nearer it is to the starting line. Conversely, the longer the distance of the plane's landing, the farther it is from the starting line. To summarize the lesson, what standard unit of measure did we study today? Yes, we studied about meter as a standard unit of measure. Very good. How, How do, do you, you measure the, the amount of a set of meters? Of bills? How do you measure the measure distance? Place one end of the meter stick at the starting point or object, extend it until the other object, and read the measurement where it meets the mark. If the meter stick is shorter than the distance, start by placing one end of the stick at the starting point or object, measure as far as you can, mark where you stop, then move the stick to continue measuring from that mark. Do this repeatedly until you cover the entire distance. If the measurement is not exact in meters, how can we report the length? We can add the centimeters representing the part that is less than 1 meter to the number of meters. Now, how do you compare distances in meters? To compare the distances, arrange the values from least to greatest or from greatest to least. The least number in meters represents the shortest distance while well, the greatest number indicates the longest distance. For the evaluation part, study the illustration below. Answer the questions based on this illustration. For number 1, how far in meters is Ralph from the left leg to the bench? Number 2, how far in meters is the dog from the right leg of the bench? Number 3, how far must Ralph walk in meters to reach the dog? And number 4, 
which is closer to the left leg of the bench, the tree, or the dog. For the part two, answer the following questions based on the measurements provided in the table. Write only the letter that corresponds to your answer. So for this tense, there are A, B, C, and D. A from the house to school, and the measurement is 253 in meters. B between the two hills, 158 meters. C around the plaza, 176 meters. And letter D around the school, 294 meters. Number one, what is the shortest distance? Number two, what is the longest distance? Number three, Arrange the distances from shortest to longest. Write only the letter that corresponds to each distance. And that's all for today. I hope you learned something. Do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.